Hello there, and welcome back to my blind LP of Gex Enter the Gecko on the PlayStation 1. This is part 18, and in this part, I'm heading to a new level called Honey, I Shrunk the Gecko in Circuit Central. It's a new day today. It's currently quarter past 11 at night. No, it's not. It's five minutes past 11, I tell a lie. And it's a, it's a new day, so it's 2nd of June. It's not my birthday anymore. I unfortunately didn't get much done yesterday um, with regards to recording. Um... But uh, I did have a lovely day though. Anyway, Gex, Enter the Gecko, 66% complete, the letter M this time, ooh. Um, yeah, I've actually played a little, a very small amount of this level, but I had to stop recording because for s some baffling reason, the next door neighbour decided to go out of his, into his garden and start barking like a dog. No idea why. Um, was, uh, at first it was quite funny, so I, I laughed, and then it was for the next, like, well, it just stopped. It's been 10 minutes, but I was on the record for about three minutes thinking, okay, no, it, it was getting picked up. It was ridiculous, so I thought I, I thought you wouldn't appreciate him barking like that. Why? Why? I just... It, what, random! But, uh, yeah, so um, I have I have done a very small... I mean, very tiny amount of this level, but... I don't read this. I've, I mean, I've... doesn't really matter, does it? Hopefully not. Anyway, here we go. Let's jump onto the thing. It's tail time. Is it then? We'll jump in for some tail time. Right, so Circuit Central. Honey, I shrunk the gecko. We got charge to the top, find the IO tower, and charge the ACT steps. Just pick the middle one. I never actually go for the red remote that I select, do I? So That's what I picked last time was the middle one, so... Tempt me, darling. No, oh, tempt you indeed. It's absolutely baking. It's, we've been... We having a heat wave lately, and um, so I'm I'm still drinking hot coffee. And believe it or not, I actually have a hot water bottle because I'm still actually feeling a little bit under the weather. If you've watched the last part, you'll uh, you'll know Oi! you'll know why. Um, I food poisoning. I didn't give didn't even eat any food to get it. The typical. Oh, what's up here? So, so yeah, so um. Ooh. Oh, hello. So yeah, um, that's actually baking it. I've, I've had not much sleep, so I'm uh, pretty tired too. Was uh, quite busy yesterday, as it was my birthday. I had a, had a barbecue. I hate barbecues. Don't understand the point of barbecues whatsoever. Where's this bloody taking me to? Is that, is that where I came from down there? Get, get off it then. Oh, no, it's not. It's a little health thing here. I love that. Uh, I don't understand the point of barbecues, because it's like... It's fire, and it's really hot outside. Why would I want to make myself hotter? Why don't you have a barbecue at winter when it's cold? You can all sit around the barbecue and warm yourselves up. Makes no sense, barbecues. Don't get them. Hate them. But I had one anyway because everyone else loves them, apparently. So, And then I uh, retired for the night and, um, You'll thank me. and uh, watched Sonic the Hedgehog, finally, the movie. Watched the movie of that, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Bloody brilliant it was. It was... It was everything I wanted. I'm glad they changed the CGI on that, though. Because the uh, the original... plenty more where this came from. All right. The original design of uh, Sonic was atrocious in that bloody... Um, what not? The, uh, the original trailer. A really good film, actually. Over it was actually a really good film, and not, even if I wasn't a massive Sonic fan, I, I would have... Fairly enjoyed it. The only thing more confusing is trying to find um, shoelaces. Let's grab all these, shall we? There we go. Oh, there we go. Wow, tier one already done. Um, so yeah, Jim Carrey is brilliant as Robotnik. If I, if that, f oh, hello, things came alive. If that, if that um film came out when I was uh, like a kid, it would have been my favourite film of all time. There we go. Finally, play that. Took a while to die. I thought it was brilliant, the film. Jim Carrey was perfect cast. Um, it had it had a nice... It was formulaic and very generic, but... Um, oh. <coughs> excuse me, so you wait down there. Oh, sorry, excuse me about that. Something is... Um, hopefully I'll remember to edit out, edit out that cough that I just did in the microphone, unprofessionally. Sorry, so you went down the wrong way. A little bit of spittle. Like you wanted to know that, right? We have to go there, it looks like. Sorry about that. Just 
That, I'm, hold on, I'm gonna have a bit of coffee. We're like, ugh. oh, there we go. Um, right over here. Here we go. Blue, but I went a long way around, don't I? Let's take care of all this. Get these items. There we go. Oh, bugger. Camera, could you like zoom out? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so the um, Jim Carrey was a perfect cast for Robotnik. He, he literally made the film excellent, and um, they've just announced a sequel, and I'm excited for the sequel. Um, I think that was the best video adaptation film ever. It, it, I mean, my, my favorite was Mortal Kombat until now, which is, funnily enough, the first the, the first film to do that. Like, first video video game film. But, um, yeah, it was excellent. Excellent. Um, like I said, it was, like, very generic, very formulaic. You knew what the plot was going to be about and whatnot. But, um, but I think it was just, it was just a great kids film. Just a really, really good kids film. And, um, had some good adult humour in it, too. And as a Sonic fan, it was great seeing all the little, like, homages they were doing. It was, it was good. It was good. Mm, right. Oh yeah, I forgot to say where I actually I got up to that little like the um, passageway to get up to that that like where these things were before. Oh well, that's that's handy. They flew off down there. What's the point of even destroying these then if they? I why did I jump for them? I don't even they even fell down. Well, that was. Ugh, duh. Anyway, so um. Yeah. So I watched a bit of Sonic the Hedgehog. That was brilliant. And then I uh, retired for the rest of the night. Oh, the game just bark at me now. Blimey, everything's barking at me today, tonight. Was um was to, to make my own... Are you after the old sandwich in my pocket? No, I'm not. That's gross. Um, was to uh, make my own 3D platformer game. Um, so that's what I've been doing lately. Do I want to go down there, or do I want to look around? Just bear with me. I want to look around before I do anything. But yeah, it's been. Where do you put the batteries? I don't know where you put the batteries, Gex. Right here we go. On there. I assume we go this way. Lovely jubbly. Um. Ooh, it's got all blue. But yeah, um, was making my own 3D platform, working on that. I finally finished a model, a character model. Oh, oh nice. it's here too, done. Um, I put it and um, put it in a world I was designing called Totem Woods. And uh, the main character, so I've never used Blender before, or I've never actually 3D modeled um, characters before. The last time I 3D modeled at university, which was over like a, over a decade ago, and um, so I was, uh, I was, what's up this way? Oh, an extra life. I don't need that. Um, right, actually, hit point, should I say. And so I was um, working on that. And I've never actually made a 3D character in Blender, well, any 3D model in Blender before. And uh, it was great fun, actually. And, um, but I was, uh, so while I was doing it for the past couple of days, I had to learn about the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn architecture. Because, ooh, checkpoint up. Take that. Oh, that's blinding. Because I had to learn, like, the polygon limits. And, uh, well, and in, in the, and with Sega Saturns, how many sprites and stuff you can have on them on the screen and whatnot. So, obviously, Sega Saturn's a bit weird and does it completely different than everybody else. And, um, oh. Oh, did he just poo out a bomb? I think he did. I think he just poop, pooped out a bomb. Come here, you sod. Um. So yeah. So like, I was reading up like the spec, the spec, specific, specific, specific. Spe spe oh, I can't say that word. The specs of the PlayStation. Um, because he's he's just a loon from the PlayStation, and um, it said it can do one that one hundred eight um one hundred eighty thousand polygons per second, which is which is quite a lot, really. Let's just go up here, shall we? And you're thinking, oh, that's quite, that's quite a lot. But then you realise, um, well, I realised straight away that actually it's a lot less than that because what you see on screen. Because you're thinking, wow, that's that's a lot. That 
that, why do PlayStation games look like this? Why do I miss, miss a lot of those collectibles? Other stuff on the ceiling up there. Ooh. Um, where do I want to go then? That way? I'm like completely neglected. I think I want to go that way, don't I? Let's go around there. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, I was... Um, yeah, so, um, so, so basically, because games run at 30 frames a second, so, so you've got to divide how many polygons it can show on screen a second by how many frames it is, if you get me. And it works out at 6,000, uh, 6, sorry, 6,000 polygons a, um, that was close, a, uh, a second. Ah, ah, we're going this way, are we? They're going to wake up. Come, come, come here. Did I do that? Did I do that? Let's take care of these real quick. So yeah, so, so you see, roughly 6,000, uh, give or take, you know, I mean, it's very rough. But um, and that's not and that, that's only what that's 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 before like game logic and whatnot. So when I was making my character model in Blender, I had to make sure I was like following the strict limitations. I like following strict limitations when I'm making my video games. I like to do it properly. Um, let's go the other way, I think. So my character model only has 564 polygons. Tries. And um, and I was quite impressed actually. Uh, it's it's right. Do I want to go that way? Just just now. Let's go back. Oh hello. The, ooh. Stuck on a ceiling here. So I didn't. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go through that door or. Where's this taking me to? Oh hello. Can I go up there? Oh, I can. Where's this? On this. This must be the I/O tower then, right? Oh no, it's not. It's a silver remote. Oh, Fair enough. The hidden one. Well, that's, that's cleverly hidden. That one. I think I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. I would have missed that if it wasn't for me. Usually, doing my usual backtrack to make sure I get all the collectibles. Splat. Because I, I, I wanted to go. I wanted to go back and go up this way. I wanted to see where this led me to, but. But yes, yeah, so if you think about it. You have got six thousand triangles on polygons you can show on screen at once. Whoops. Which means there we go. That's the two silver. So, so you, you can't. You got your character. You got your. You got your character model. Your level, which needs obviously polygons. So then your enemies. Then you. Then your game logic. Then your collectible. It's just. It's incredible what the guys did back in the day to get like, what how limited they would work with this 3D. And um, with all the, and also with all like the um, like. Bloody hell, this all take this is a this is a mind melting stage. I really do like these. Um, oh hello, let's grab that, shall we? But you know all these like, like what they had to work with is it's just and especially with the Sega Saturn, which is like completely apparently an awful thing to code for and and you know with its weird arc sprite architecture and quads. It's just it's just amazing what they did. Really, I'm really you know I'm really. Here we go. Let's just we'll just go this way, shall we? When we're here now, we've got this. I've got the hidden remote, so I don't need to look around for that. That's one good thing, you know. And I, so now I've been look when I've been playing this game, um, and I'm playing it. I'm through this part. I've been looking and seeing how many polygons things are. So those walls there would be like I would say there would be eight, eight each. That wall there where my head is, that would be eight polygons. That what they're Two, two there. Two, sorry, eight. Yeah, eight triangles. Should I say uh, two there, two there, two there, and two there? You can also see how they seam up. So this whole world here would be about, I'd say, about like a thousand and a half visible polygons, drawn polygons. It's, it's just, it's just amazing what they did with the limited technology. What's this here? So, um, spare a fault for those people who made these excellent old. PlayStation game. So yeah, so I've been doing my own and like the, like these these the, this it's why the enemies are like really like low poly and and um really are arch, like archaic looking. I, I just I just I just love it so much. It's, ooh, it's, oh oh did think it was uh, I thought it was going to go straight up. Come back. It's, well, get. 
Let's go this way then instead. Oh, I need that to be activated too. Let's do that one. But it's uh, it's just it's just you know, we're really getting into the with 3D stuff at the moment. Oh, this is just going down. Oh no, it's going this way now. Off on a journey. Okay. On to there, I assume. Blimey, this, this is a trek, isn't it? Where am I supposed to get that one, then? Oh, I've, I've, oh, look, I've gone for the wrong remote. Of course I have. Do I need to activate all these panels, then? I assume that's what I need to do. Try that again. Aha, I see that, that one. I feel sick. Then on the... Yeah, irritating. So yeah, so I've been I've been getting to my 3D. Mo it's been it's ah that's why I need to do that onto that. There, there we go, lovely. It's just it's just been fun actually. I just really enjoyed doing it. That wasn't too bad actually. But yeah, so I've been making my own 3D, and I, I've been checking out the world and uh, checking how much the draw distance would have to be. Obviously, I would put an option in not to have a draw distance, of course. So you didn't have, if you didn't want, you wanted to see the whole level, you could. But if you wanted to play authentically, then then there would be a draw distance. But anyway, there's there's one Going red room. The Don't know which one that was. Oh, it was the act one. Here we go. Told you, I told you to get the wrong remote. Why change a habit for a lifetime? Well, there we go. That's those ones done. But yeah, no. So I've been in, been doing that. Been quite fun actually. Um, going to be uh, putting it into a Unity, a quick Unity engine soon, and uh, we're resuming play. Oh, whatever bonus. Oh, I know where that's at. Whatever bonuses has popped up. Oh, and a mouth has opened up. Fair enough. Random. <laughs> Right. Tempt me. Tempt you. Right, so find the IO tower, charge the top. Let's just charge the top, shall we? Here we go. Where's that at? Oh, that looks like that's going to be a boatload of fun to do. Let's see. www.dork.com. That's, that's just rude. Right, we don't need to kill enemies or faff around. Let's just go straight to where we need to go. As I've got all the collectibles. Actually, the coffee I made today was was weird, right? It came it came in this like kind of uh, tub thing, which you had to, which had like two things you had to peel off. So you, you had to peel off the first like foil wrapper, like on top, you know, like lid, I should say. That then. Um, that then had like this powder, really fine powder that went right up my bloody nose. You put that in a cup, and then there's a, like another foil wrapper that you unwrap, that you fill them with hot water. And once you, right, that's after you put the white powder in your cup, which is like this powdered milk, I assume. Then you fill the cup up with the milk, and then you, and then also you fill the, 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 the plastic cup thing, which has now has the powdered coffee with, you see how complicated it is? I mean, I'm just... I'm even just talking about it right now. Is How's that getting, Bill Gates? Giving me a headache. Um, but yes, it was a... Whoops. I didn't even press the... I didn't even probably bother to press the button there. Go on. Obi -Wan well, I went through the platform yeah. there. Did you see that? But yeah, it was weird. But it was actually really delicious. Just a lot of faff to make. They're like called Kenko Duos. I don't know why I'm talking about my coffee. Pfft. Well, that was... <laughs> that was textbook right there. So, uh, so yeah, the, let's go this way. Get the, uh, the extra health here. Here we go. There we go. Um, so COVID is still happening around at the moment. Still stuck in lockdown. Um, even though, th um, oh, the, the next thing that's happening is the uh, protests in the United States with the police, police brutality. That, I don't want to get too much into this playthrough because, um, it's not, 
it's uh, it's all going, but that's also in the news. Um, absolutely shocking images I've been seeing. Uh, so that's another thing. I don't really want to get discuss that too much because um, it should be discussed. Don't get me wrong. I, I you should discuss. We should discuss that. But I don't think this plain gex the gecko on here is the the uh, place to do it. If I'm honest, or is it? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but that's been happening. The world is absolutely messed up lately. A slip of the tongue. It's just twenties. It's like every year, right? People go, "Oh, this year's the worst. Next year will be. The next year will be good. Next year will be, will be the year." I wonder if I could. God, this cam. This camera's drunk. Can I please stop? I can't. I cannot see what I'm doing. Here we go. Ugh. Can't remember if I went this way or not. I don't think I did. Let's go this way now. Have I been this way before? Don't think I have. No, let's go this way. File this under. I'll eat that because I'm thinking. There we go. I'm full life now. But yeah, like, like you know, like 2016 was like a terrible year, and then was like, well, Fantastic. well, now um. Oh, this camera. Just. Ugh. Do I need one of those, like, power up things for this? I can't remember. I don't think I do, actually. But yeah, so. Oh, that was it. Like ping pong when you hit it. I've been saving this for you. What? I didn't. There we go. Why is it. No, go over there. There we go. No. Whoops. God, oh, this is tricky. But yeah, like 2016 was bad. Then 2017 came along and it was like, hold my beer. And then... My tail. There we go. And then like 2018. And then it, and it just... Each year's been getting progressively bloody worse and awful. It's just been... Ugh. Where is this taking me to? Well, well, if Gex actually like would have stuck to it, that would have been fantastic. But Where do you put the Gex, shut up! Doing sod. No, don't go over there. Oh, this thing is. Bleh. But yeah, so. Hello. <laughs> now that's Just land I on there. There we go. Um, oh wait, hold on, that's like a TV monitor I failed to... No, this was a 9 volt battery. Grab that then. Why is he not sticking to this wall? He's having the right problem with this wall today, aren't he? There we go. Don't know where I landed to. Wait, do I want to... I really want to be up there, don't I, really? What's actually up here? It's just... Oh, an extra life. No, I don't really need to be up there. I think it's just in case you... Yeah, this is just to... Oh, hello, top of the screen. Right. Okay. So, uh... So, yeah, it's just... It's just ugh. 2020 has been a terrible bloody year, hasn't it? Ah, oh, these... This, this is just... I don't like this. Whee! Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh my goodness. It's actually quite hard to judge when you need to... S no, not yet. I hate these things. Now, maybe? Will that actually... There we go. That should hopefully maybe land on it. There we go. Oh, nice. Not over there. Thank you, electronic man. Make sure I don't just go backwards. But yeah, so the oh. there we go. Oh, it's just been a bit of funny old. It's just been funny, hasn't it? It's not even been. Fu it's not funny at all. Blimey, where the bloody hell's this at? Oh, 
No, not yet. Oh, I think this is the other, other, other room, isn't it? Like, I can't, if I came from. Boys, Tron didn't work once. But over onto here. Working twice. This is like one of the longer levels, I think. Oh, this is the IO tower. This one. Well, I've gone out of order again. I've gone. Of course, I don't get the remote I set out to get. Of course, of course. Go up there. Get up there, Gex. Use your tongue or something. Thank you. Don't know where this is going to take me. Just gonna... No. Judo chop. <sighs> Just like just spinning the tail, just this camera is just uh, really struggles, isn't it? Oh come on, hate this thing. This gimmick's out. State it's welcome now. Right, that should definitely land on that. Onto here, up here. Where was the? Uh, where is the remote? It should be on one of these platforms. There it is. Wonderful. Lovely. Jubbly. Wait, hold on. Hold on. That's not what I need to do. I need to land. I need to. Yeah, I need to land on the uh, thing, don't I? You have to spin around on those bloody platforms. That's irritating. Hold on. You just bloody do stupid camera. Thank you. I designed this scent with you in mind. Shut up. Oh, sorry. I'm just so warm, and it's just you know when you're warm, you just get more tired oh, of ground shit. Here we go. I mean, the stage this stage hasn't been difficult. For all the angels in heaven. It's just been long and annoying and quite tedious. Come on, that's got to land on there. Thank you. Uh, for a second there, I thought it was going to like not land on it. There we go. Well, I got the wrong one no again. No time for cartoon jokers. I think it's going to be one of the longer parts. Yeah, blimey. I'm only really recording for half an hour. Right, last remote. Here we go. Resume play. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, you always wanted, Gex. This, this game's not too bad, actually. Charge to the top. Right, let's actually finally do this one, shall we? There we go. Already seen that. Right, what was he going to say? Tempt me. Tempt me, darling. Right then. Okie dokie, let's go. After this, then I think I think we'll do the uh, boss. Where am I going? I'm, I'm totally the wrong place. There, there we go. I'm trying to think of which place I haven't been to. Oh, I know where that where I went where where that hidden remote was. I didn't go for that door. We need to go for that one. There we go. Let's do that. Boing. There we go. Grab this extra hit point up here. Might as well. This camera's drunk. Stop. I, uh. I like playing these old video games if I'm trying to work out what to do for my own. Because now at least I know don't make a camera like this shoddy one. Although I do like when you stick onto the wall like that. That's really nice. That's annoying, I got hit there. I really do like this. It's a nice touch. There we go. Right. Oh. Also, don't re enter, like, once you pick up the main art collectible, don't, like, exit the level. It's just irritating doing that. I opened the sequel. That they uh, don't have that actually. That would be nice. That you, once you've collected like the main collectible, you can stay in the level. Don't actually have that. I do actually own the sequel. The, the, well, I can't remember what it's called now, but um, Gex 
Deep Under Gecko, I think it is. Deep Agent Gecko. Well, I was was spinning my tail around there, but that didn't work. Ah. Where's this? Oh, there's no actually. Let's go get that. Um, I do own it, but it's not. I don't actually have it with me. It's uh, it's actually at my, my actual home. So I'm under lockdown at the moment, and I can't get back. Get up there. Get up there, you stupid sod. Oh, don't know. Whoops. Right. Let's go and do that. Wait, hold on. I actually don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Or do I, which way do I want to go? Can't remember now. Oh, I do want to go this way. Oh, come on! I was... Sweet, like candy. I was... Yeah, sometimes when you press the the, uh, the square button, it doesn't actually register that you, you're spinning and you don't hit... Oh, it's this way I want to go, actually. Yeah, sorry. The only thing more confusing is trying to find shoelaces at Woolies. Oh my goodness, Woolies. Oh wow, that's that's a trip down mid. So wool, wool, he's talking about Woolworths, which was a place, a shop in um, in the UK that went like um, bankrupt and it's not no more a thing. Um, I'm gonna go this way, don't I now? In like God, like ten years ago, decade. I used to get like um, I used to get uh, like pick a mix from there. Oh my Woolworths. That's a trip down memory lane there, Gex. Blimey. I haven't thought about Wolves in you. Here we go, right. Here's, here's the final place I need to go. File this under app. Right. These places can be really, really irritating. Oh my goodness. Has actually got a little bit of difficultiness to it. Uh, don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. Oh, oh, what the? Oh. Well, ooh, collectibles up there. Well, that was really, really bloody irritating. Uh, uh, I don't know how I missed that. Well, I just dive bombed into this. Is giving me the most problem right now. Hopefully, I might 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 just have enough. Oh my goodness! Go on, onto there. Where's this going to take me to? Are you kidding me? It takes me back to the big use use sod. Brilliant. Thanks, there, game. Well, that might actually take me to the end where I need to go, but no, no, it doesn't. It takes me back. Right. Whoops. Oh dear. Oh no. Please, please don't hit me. That's all right. Oh, blimey. That was tricky. I'm at the end now. Is this the final hurdle? I think it is. Oh, ugh. let's try that again. Oh, here we go. No enemies, please. That would be appreciative. Thank you. Well, there we go. That was actually not too bad. There we go. Final red remote. Brilliant. Darling, sweetie. Darling, sweetie. Right. There we go. That's that is that stage complete. That was actually quite a fun stage, to be perfectly honest. That was one of my this camera had a bit of issues here and there, but it wasn't terrible. And then update save. Long, one of the longer parts that was. There we go. Game saved. Right. So in the next part, I will be taking on the boss. I assume it's a boss. Which will be Gekzilla versus Mecha Mecha Res. There we go. That will be the next part. 
That looks quite interesting now. Are we like gonna be Godzilla or something? Well, that's what they're that's what they're um hinting at. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode in the series so far. Take care, have a lovely day, stay safe out there. Um take care and uh, bye for now. Oh blimey, that was a long stage. Ba, 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 ba.